Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing how we can actually translate a business problem into a data science solution. Now guys, from past many days, you're asking this particular question. I had seen many comments, even I had got some personal messages in LinkedIn from many people. So uh, today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about that. And before moving ahead with respect to this particular video, guys, if you're looking for career transition advice towards data science, Please make sure that you watch this particular video till the end because at the end I'm going to share some of the important YouTube channel where you can actually refer a lot of things from there. So let's let's go ahead and try to understand how we can actually convert a business problem into a data science solution. Now the first and the foremost and the most important thing is that guys every business solution does not require a data science solution itself and how do you actually find out that understand guys if you are actually implementing a data science project it requires a lot of resources you know you need to actually uh, form a team in in that specific team you require many people like a domain expert person a business analyst a data analyst a data scientist machine learning engineer machine learning researcher or database architect, data architect, what I can say, database administrator. Apart from that, you also require data analytics manager and many people who can actually support that kind of project. So before thinking ahead, like whether this business problem requires a data science solution, understand about that particular business guys. Because the, again, I'm telling you, there is a huge lot of resources that are required to implement a data science solution. Okay, if I consider cloud also, right, different types of cloud where you'll do the deployment and many more things. So what are the most important things that you should actually refer whenever you are actually understanding a business problem? Now understand one thing, whenever, like suppose you are initiating a data science project, before that you need to understand the whole business requirement. Okay, and when you're asking them, right, make sure that you note down all the points of that particular business requirement, what are the goals? Right. What are their goals? Because I'm going to say you some of the examples also how you can actually go ahead with that. But just understand that uh, a data science team, you know, as soon as they get a business problem, the next step is that after they understand the business problem, what they do is that they try to find out what kind of data will be actually necessary in order to solve that particular business problem. And later on, they'll try to implement the whole life cycle of a data science project and finally deploy that particular solution and give it to the a uh, client or the domain expertise or the product owner whoever is owning that kind of project right so it is pretty much important that you understand the whole business you know what they are actually planning for let me just give you some example suppose you are working for a telecommunication company telecom company so one of your competitor has brought some good products because of which many people are actually jumping to the other network itself you know suppose if i take an example of atel and geo right geo recently had brought some wonderful plans of 399 you know and so because of that many people started moving towards geo telecommunication right so what what was the thing over there you know they, they they brought some new solution over there they were providing you cheap internet cheap uh telephone calls everything was cheap right so many people started jumping now if you are in this kind of scenario what can you think about it what can what 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 are the new products that you can bring into the market considering a data science solution all these things you have to think about that you know apart from that i'll give you some more examples now suppose a bank wants to open a atm machine in some specific location and in that particular area which location they should try to open it right this is another one one of the important question okay and this is one of the business problem and can we solve it by a data science solution the next thing is that if i give you one more example suppose i, I hope everybody has seen various series in netflix and you see that season one has come season two has come of that same series right how do it how do they decide whether season two has to come or not okay uh, by just seeing that amount of data that how many people have actually watched it you know and netflix main aim is that many people should join their subscription plan you know so so bringing a new season is it necessary because whether the previous season was a hit how many people watched what was the watch time and based on that can we decide that the season two should come or season three should come so these all things are a kind of business problem i'm just giving you one example guys but still you have to think about it you know and uh, the bank example and uh, the telecom example that i had actually given you i'll specifically say that the telecom example that i had actually given you is basically called as a churn prediction you know so churn prediction is one of the pretty 
much famous problem statement that was actually given in Kaggle. So the first thing is that understand the business and business what they want. Okay, what what are their outcomes of it? You know, what are they looking for? Are they attracting more customers or are they just targeting some specific set of customers? So that is the most pretty much important thing to be actually focused on on the business problem statements that we are actually discussing and definitely there will be a data scientist there will be a team of data scientists who will be talking to the product owner to the domain expert persons to understand about that now guys when you are actually understanding about the business make sure that you are having a good amount of interaction with the domain expert person understand guys domain expert can play a very very important role in the success of a particular use case in terms of a data science solution because the domain expertise has huge amount of information, huge amount of knowledge with respect to that specific use case. And that will help us like a data scientist or a data science team to understand, you know, what are the important attributes that are or the information that are actually involved with respect to that specific use case. Because trust me, guys, recently when I was implementing a project, you know, some of the project went to six to eight months just because of the delay of understanding all the information from a domain expert and trust me without the knowledge of a domain expert a project cannot go ahead you know because there are so many things because we are just not just feeding some data into a machine learning model but we are feeding some meaningful data and that data needs to be understood by us because we need to do whole lot of different different uh, life cycle stages of a data science project like feature engineering feature selection and many more things so make sure that the interaction the amount of information the knowledge theory that is required from a domain expert is taken in a proper proper way right unless and until this is not done definitely guys your data science solution or your data science project will not be a successful one the third thing that you should worry about is the data whether data is available readily available for that specific use case if it is not readily available are there any sources where we can actually gather that amount of data for that specific use case so this is the pretty much important thing why i'm saying you this is that understand if i am implementing a data science project is it is heavily dependent on the data that we are actually using if we have a high quality data guys we will definitely be able to get a good result whenever we are implementing that specific use case without data again the project cannot be successful we need to have a high quality data we we, we cannot just again guys there are a lot of resources that are required there are a lot of money that is involved in this particular project so definitely data must be the thing that is pretty much important which will help you in making that particular project a successful one the fourth thing that you should actually focus on is all the life cycle of a data science project you know when you are performing all the life cycle of a data science project specifically in the feature engineering and feature selection stage do make sure that you are interacting with the domain expert to understand each and every feature what they are actually for you know sometimes it may require in such a way that you need to derive some more features and that is only possible when you as a data scientist will understand about that specific feature the next important thing that you should consider is about the data analytics solution that you are actually creating that particular solution should be flexible guys now what do i mean by flexible now after once a model is actually deployed the analytics solution is ready and given to the end consumer or to the client then suppose there are some more additional changes that needs to come up in the future recommendations right at that time you should be easily be able to integrate those things into your analytic solution or you can also say incorporate those things into your analytic solution so this makes the analytic solution pretty much flexible to cater the future requirements from the client so make sure that you try to incorporate or design your analytic solution in such a way that it is pretty much flexible now before ending this particular video guys if you are looking for a career transition advice towards data science please make sure that you watch springboard india youtube channel because there you'll be able to see real world talks from data scientists who are actually working in different different mncs the link of the youtube channel is given in the description go and watch that particular youtube channel guys you'll be getting a whole lot of information out of it so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye